Uh, okay, so today we're going to check out magnesium glycinate. It says 400 milligrams. I'm not sure what that translates to. It says 95% of your daily recommended. So I guess that's what they mean. Anyways, this is magnesium with a glycine attached to it. You may recall that glycine is an amino acid that helps with um, cognition and keeping your mind focused and calm. Uh, with magnesium, hopefully, if this crosses the blood-brain barrier, that will be very helpful. So let's see what magnesium does in general. I take it for sleep, by the way, and muscle recovery, as well as my nerves. Uh, magnesium and glycinate were both recommended as uh, sleep aids in um, <sighs> instead of melatonin, which is a hormone that may have its own problems. All right, so it's essentially daily mineral. Let's see, magnesium deficiencies are common in developed countries and is often caused by diabetes and other conditions. Uh, a lack of magnesium will raise blood pressure and reduce insulin sensitivity. So there you go. A lot of people are going to have that problem. Um, we have very low magnesium levels, it seems, in general. Um, you might want to supplement because a lot of the foods you are presented with, if they're plants and grains, uh, they might not even have enough magnesium in them, and even if they did, they're probably not very bioavailable. Check out bioavailability of minerals in plants. It's not very good. Um, okay, so 200 to 400 milligrams is the basic um, amount that you should take if you're going to supplement. It says any form of magnesium can be used to attenuate magnesium deficiency except mas magnesium l 3 and 8 I will talk about that one another time, since it contains less elemental magnesium per dose. Um, yeah, be careful about magnesium and diarrhea. It's going to have a little bit of an effect if you take a lot. Um, there are tons of different types of magnesiums. I can't get into it in the video here. Just know that everyone has its own, each one has its own different uh, bioavailability. And uh, just some different um, characteristics that it can help you out with. Uh, L3 and 8 seems to be really good for mental clarity and focus. Anyways, um, you can go look those up. I will be talking about those in future videos. Um, let's see. So blood pressure, it's very useful. Serum magnesium, really good. But that just depends on the magnesium. You have to take more sometimes. Blood glucose reduction, hemoglobin A1C reduction, insulin sensitivity, um, let's see, triglycerides, it seems to help out with that, um, muscle oxygenation, so I find it it's very relaxing, so I don't like to take it until after, I usually take it for sleep, um, this brand is Solaray, I think Solaray is a good quality, uh, these are kind of hard to find, magnesium glycinate was kind of hard to find, uh, let's see what else we've got here for magnesium glycinate. That was examine.com that I'm using right now is um, Healthline. So the, magne mag the, the benefits of magnesium glycinate. So relieve anxiety. Like I said, if it's got glycine attached to it, also with magnesium, it's very calming. Uh, promotes bone health, manage blood sugar, maintain normal heart rhythm, reduce symptoms of premature, sorry, premenstrual syndrome. Amplify exercise performance. Magnesium orotate should do that better. Uh, also may reduce pain. There has been some research on magnesium and headaches, migraine headaches and prevention. Also pain. I think it kind of works, but I can't be sure because there's a lot of confounding factors. So that's going to be my video for today. As you can tell, I'm kind of a fan of magnesium. I've been doing a lot of research into that. I hope this video was beneficial for you. If so, please pass it on to another person and give me a like if you can and please subscribe. Thank you. Have a nice day.